And for people looking to take advantage of that nice weather for a holiday getaway, keep in mind you won't be alone. That is a big time understatement. You also won't find gas prices dropping, at least not yet. News H. Kim Pierce, live along I 95 in Milford, with more on the traffic and the cost. Good afternoon, Kim. Good afternoon to you, Keith. And as for the traffic, well, along I-95 here, things are moving just fine right now. Always tough to predict on Labor Day weekend what traffic is, is, is what traffic is going to be like because the kids are already back in school. Vacations are mostly over. One thing I can tell you for sure is that when you fill up at the pump, you're going to be paying a lot more than you did this time last year. In states where school starts before Labor Day, this is a strange weekend. We started school on Wednesday. 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 All right, so yeah. it's kind of weird, isn't it? That you guys start school and then you get a three day weekend right afterwards? Yeah. Is yeah. that weird? Yeah, it's weird. They are part of the crowd hitting the road early for the holiday weekend. They may be missing school, but Erica and Caitlin will be learning a few things. We're heading to New York City. All right, what are you going to do this weekend? Uh, we're going to see a musical, we're going to go to some museums. This is a monument. Veteran travelers know the trick is to beat the rush. Try to get out here early before traffic, before the big getaway. Right. We only had one slight tie up so far coming in, uh, and that was just traffic. The AAA stopped doing studies of Labor Day traffic years ago. It does study gas prices, however, and a road trip is going to cost you a lot more this year than it did last year. Prices are significantly 50 cents, 75 cents higher than this time last year. Of course, existing prices today, current prices today, are the highest they've been since 2014. In Connecticut, the year to year increase is 56 cents. That means putting 16 gallons in your tank costs $9 more now than it did last Labor Day. Experts say one of the reasons is sanctions against oil producer Iran. OPEC is also not producing as much as it used to. Those experts say we should see gas prices drop soon once the summer driving season is over. We believe that prices will probably drop to the 290, 289 mark. Um, it's still high. But it's a lot better than paying over $3 a gallon. Yeah, definitely better than paying the $3 a gallon. And prices are supposed to drop after Labor Day. The only thing that could short circuit that, however, is if we get a hurricane, particularly in the Gulf region, that could damage pipelines and oil refineries there. Well, then all bets are off. Live along I 95 in Milford, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, back to you. Kent, thank you. Reminder to pass along to you this afternoon on News 8 app. Really is a great tool to have right on your smartphone. You can keep an eye on all of our traffic cameras. Check on the weather in your neighborhood throughout the week and also get updates on all of our top stories.